Hello guys, uh, Create Tutorials here, and uh, in this video I'm gonna be showing you um, an offset transition. And now you're probably thinking like, uh, uh, hey, you made this tutorial uh, in a few months ago, and yeah, that's right, uh, I, I didn't make it, but I uploaded it, and uh, it was basically just, just the transition itself. Uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you like the smoothest and sexiest settings like ever. I love this effect now. Uh, before it was okay but now I love it. So uh, yeah, this is how it looks. Like uh, it goes really really slow at the beginning and then like fucking fast and then really slow at the, uh, at the end Just let's watch that again like, a really really sexy effect I love this now so okay let's start so you wanna take your two clips uh, into a new comp click ok and open them um, and just uh, get your clips together like uh, yeah, you know how it's supposed to be, but okay. So, like a clip like this, where the two clips meet each other. Like here is uh, the high res clip, and here's the bailout. I think bailout. Yeah, bailout. Okay, so um, yeah, you want first of all, you want to go to layer new and create an adjustment layer. And then basically, uh, what I always do is click Control, Shift, and the left arrow key, and go six like uh, click six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you wanna split it right there, and then go back to the middle, and then uh, go one, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, this whole thing is going to be uh, 12, uh, 12, to 120 frames. I mean, so yeah, th now we have it. So you want to search offset, distort under the distort menu. So you want to let it in, or whatever. Uh, and then you want to go to the beginning of this uh, uh, layer and you want to go to the shift and center to and uh, click on the clock watch and then you want to set uh, the right um, number because the right number is like where it goes down and the left number is goes left and right so you can do both ways but in this tutorial I'm gonna do it this way so I have the perfect numbers to this transition that you can always use. It's 3240, so uh, 3240. And then you want to go to the end of this transition, and you want to put it to 360. Click U, and now we have two keyframes. So that's it. So now you basically have the transition, but as you see, it doesn't look it doesn't look nice. It looks skippy, skippy and stuff. So let's add some directional blur to make it some a little bit nicer, a little bit blurrier, realistic stuff. So you wanna um, click the keyframe in the beginning of the layer, go to the middle. So that and put it to 25 or 30 and you see now it's blurry and then go to the end and put it to zero and then I, I really use when it's very blurry so I usually like to add real smart motion blur and if you don't have it this is a plugin you gotta download uh, and you wanna put the blur amount to 0 0.25 like that's how I like and I'm just gonna change the scale of these two clips so just easy scale okay so 
now what we have is basically yeah it's it got some blur but doesn't look that nice uh, so what you can do is just highlight all the keyframes that we have done and then go right click keyframe assistant and ECs and then you can click uh, create a motion blur now when you scroll through it looks pre pretty much a little bit better but now uh, I'm gonna show you the secret trick to get this smooth transition so what you wanna do is just open your adjustment layer click U and go to the offset and click the shift shift and center to and you wanna click to the, click this gra graph editor and then you get a huge uh, um, I can't say this in English sorry but it's, it's yeah round thing <laughs> okay so you wanna click one time at the things down here and then you get two yellow lines you just want to click and drag inside to get around 80 is usually good just do that on both so basically this um, this makes like uh, the clip starts very slowly and then it goes really fast and then it goes slowly at the end so that's what it does now if we play this through uh, let's see here now if we scroll it through you see how beautiful it looks and this looks so much better with some music and stuff but you all know it um, but yeah this is the transition I love so um, make sure to do it if you didn't know it <laughs> basically uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial please leave a like and a comment uh, that's a way to support me and my tutorials um, yeah I will see you in the next tutorial and goodbye